What is going on everybody? It's your boy David Guy Cakes. This room might look a little familiar maybe. You guys recognize these loony hats, you guys recognize these shoes. Yeah, I broke into Sneakerhead in the base house. No, I'm chicken, I didn't. I didn't, okay. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a Yeezy Roshi Run Boost 350 Custom. Big thanks to Sneakerhead in the Bay for letting me borrow his room for this video. De nada. De nada. De nada. You know what? Speaking of de nada, the word of the day today is It will come in! <laughs> Which means you're welcome. <laughs> Which means you're welcome in German. What is it? What is it? It will come in! It will come in! The materials we're gonna be using for this custom include great Roshi runs. You can get them at Foot Locker, Champs, Sheiks. Shoe Palace, etc. and any store like that. Next, you're gonna need black acrylic paint from the one and only Angelus and light gray. Also, lastly, you're gonna need small detailing brushes. First step you're gonna do is remove the shoelaces so that they don't get damaged. The second thing you're gonna do is stuff the shoes with some IKEA shoe trees. You can get them at IKEA, I just said that, or I will link them in the description down below. Boom! The reason you're gonna stuff them is so that it can keep the shape and form when you're painting. All right, you're gonna wanna go to this website, it's just adidas.com slash US slash Kanye. I'll link that down in the description below. This website shows you 360 view of the Yeezys and this will give you the inspiration you need to start painting the Yeezys. Here's a little texture, what it's gonna look like. You can see it, it's kind of, it's not really straight lines, but you can see all the lines are starting to go just across, kind of going up. So that's gonna be the technique. You can start practicing on a piece of paper or anything before you get going so that you don't mess up. You can do this three different ways. You can either leave the swoosh white if you want to tell that it's a Roshi. I will paint mine gray because I want it to actually look like the Yeezy. There's people that also paint it black, but it's up to you. You can paint it red, you can paint it pink, whatever color you want. And for the last part, you're going to want to put X's or squares, little designs all through here. And make sure it's a little darker than the rest. As you can see right here, there's like little spaces here. And you can tell that it's the middle part, it's like more darker. So.
conclude this custom, we're going to need to do the laces now. To start off with the laces, we can use the original laces and you can paint black X's and white X's to make it look like the original ones. Nah, I'm just kidding. Lace Lab actually sells replacement Yeezy laces that you can order online. I will put the link in the description down below. I would recommend ordering the 45 inch, 114 centimeters. <laughs> What the heck was that about? <laughs> what was, what was, boom! What was that about? <laughs> oh, we're live, we're live, we're live, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching my first video. Hit that like button. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know how I did. And um, comment down below if you want to see an on feet. I would love to put some socks on and stick my feet in there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit up Lace Lab. It's not gonna. It's not auto focus. It's not auto focus. All right. Until next time, David. Out. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha